Well guys, if you really want to improve your FPS then watch this video carefully until the end. Even before this guys, I were having trouble with my FPS and I conduct Epic Game and they give me the solution and I'm here to share this to you. This gameplay and my FPS look quite better than before and before it was too laggy and below 50 and it was the worst FPS I can get. So before we start make sure you drop a like under this video and you can subscribe my channel later if this process worked for you. And of course share this video to your friends who are having trouble with their FPS. Okay enough intro, let's get started. First of all click on windows and search edit power plan. Then do as I do. Click on the power option up there. So it is the most important setting for your PC to generate more graphics. So there I have full gaming performance mode. If you don't have that, you can create your own power plan. So from the left side menu, select create power plan. Put it the setting on a high performance and name it as your wish and put a next and then do the settings I do and then create your own power plan. This is the first thing you have to do. In second, Go to your desktop and hold Ctrl Shift and Escape to open Task Manager. Uh, if you are, if you cannot open it like that, then click on the search and type Task Manager. This is how you open the Task Manager. And from the top menu, you can see the Startup option. Click on it and disable every single which are enabled on this state. You can see the uh, disable on your right side down corner. It will reduce the impact on CPU while you open your computer. So the third step is go to the search and type graphic setting. And where you will see some of the apps are already included over there. But from up there, you have to click on browse and then make sure you have to go to your Fortnite folder wherever it is you kept or, or the default location where the Fortnite usually installed. Then click on the Fortnite games, binaries, then Windows 64 and then select the first one which is the Fortnite client Win64. Then click on the option below and make it in the high performance and close the window. Now the fourth step which is the most important to boost your FPS. So do as I do, go to your this PC and then C drive, users and the username you have over there and then apps data go to local and scroll down you'll see fortnite game then click on it hold shift and then delete enter and if you delete it manually make sure you clean up the recycle bin and after deleting the fortnite games folder then open your epic game launcher then click on your profile and below there there is setting and when you went to the settings scroll all the way down and find fortnite Extend it and you'll see there is an option called additional command line argument and type this exactly same as I type or copy this command line from the description below of the video which is the feature level ES31. As you apply this command line it will dramatically increase your FPS. In fifth step you have to go to your Microsoft store and search Intel Graphic Commander. And you have to download the beta version of this which is the advanced one. And on your left there is a button to install this software. This app contains some powerful settings which improve your FPS. As you successfully done the installation, open this app. As you open the command center you will see and license agreement shows over here. Accept it, it won't do anything, just accept it and then you will see some setting on the screen. As you have already installed games, so click on auto detect, it will detect your games you have in your PC. Like I have only Fortnite and Valorant in my PC, so it just detects two games over there. Then in next, you have to click on this three dot beside it and click on the plus custom and make your own settings over here. Name it as your wish. Like I name it full performance. And then scroll a little bit down and you'll see some setting is like anti aliasing this is always turned off and every of these settings should be turned off like always off do everything as it shows and you will see there's vertical synchronization is also off and last setting you have to do nothing with it and make sure you click the save below there so the setting in intel graphic center it is done 
Now the sixth step, which is very important because you have to check your graphic driver is up to date because if it is not fully updated, the settings you have done, it won't work. So open your browser and search Intel Support Assistant and click on the first URL and it will take you to their official website and download the software which is very recommended and after that when you install done it will show up like this and if your driver is up to date there is a green label on it or if you already have this software then you can search from your windows search and then you will like directly take to their website and it will say if your graphic driver is up to date or not so time to launch your game before you launch click on the search and type temp if you type temp or delete temporary files click on it and you have to clear up all the files because you have installed lots of stuff you you can do it every week so click on temporary files and out there it will search for the temporary and the junk files in your pc and then you have to click on remove and which will remove all the junk files and trash files you don't need or your pc don't need but make sure you have unchecked the downloads option over there and now the last and the final step you have to do so what you have to do first open your fortnite and get to the setting and make sure the settings are exactly same as my one but one thing 3d resolution have very high impact on your fps so you can put whatever you want but for me 80 would be better so that's it these are the all steps you have to do to boost your fps i hope this all will work for you and you may have a very high FPS after this. If it worked, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I really need subscribers. I really need your support to grow in YouTube. I'm very new here. And also guys, please use my support to create a code DareDark-YouTube in your Fortnite item shop. So that will also help me so good. And it will make me very happy if you support me guys. And if you have any question about this video or if you have problem with other settings or in-game issue you can write it in the comment section so that i could include it in my next video so by this time take care and see you soon in my next video goodbye guys